here we are working on some more multiplication problems with pretty big numbers. Here you see 988 times 90. We've got to figure out how to do that. If you're like me though, when you see trailing zeros, you get pretty happy and excited about that because you know that is going to make the problem much easier. So if you see a number with a trailing zero in your multiplication problem, when you set it up, put that one on the bottom. So we're gonna put 988 on the top and 90 on the bottom. And this zero from the 90, you can just bring it down and forget about it. So you've got your zero there as part of your answer, and then go ahead and multiply this as if you were multiplying this one digit number nine by this three digit number. So let's go ahead and do that. Um, so the first thing I'm gonna do is multiply it by the ones column. So that's nine times eight, and that is 72. And remember what we do is we put the ones digit result down here, and then the tens gets carried up here. So the seven goes up there. Then we go on to the tens column. So nine times eight again, and that is 72 but we have to add that seven and that equals 79. So we'll put the nine down here and the seven gets carried. And then we have nine times nine going to the hundreds uh, column there. So nine times nine, that equals 81. And then we're adding that seven that we carried. So that's 88 and we've got 88,920. And really, that wasn't too much work for multiplying a big three-digit number by a two-digit number. Love those zeros. Let's try one more. Ooh, this one is even better. Look at this. We've got two trailing zeros. So we're going to set this up in the same way. We're going to put this number on the bottom. So 773 times 700. And we can go ahead and write both trailing zeros down and then forget about them. So now we have seven times three, that is 21. So we'll put down the one and we'll carry the two. And then we have seven times seven, uh, that's 49. And then we've got to add that two to it, which makes it 51. So we'll write down the one and carry the five. And then we have seven times seven, that's 49 again. And this time we have to add the five and that gives us 54. And there's nothing else to carry to, so we write the whole 54 down here. And we got 541,100. That's a big number to get to with not that much work because of those trailing zeros. So that's a little practice with multiplying big numbers with trailing zeros.